It's time to venture into the deepest, darkest depths of the world's many forgotten caverns and tunnels, because in today's video, we are exploring every crevice of the mines of the world that have been left abandoned for too long, collecting as many mysteries as they are specks of dust. These are the 20 strangest things found inside abandoned mines. Number 20. Fett Mats A copper mine in Sweden was the site of a rare and inexplicable finding. In 1719, the body of a man was discovered in a part of the mine which had not been used in many years. While this is a regular occurrence to find bodies in mines, what was interesting about the discovery was that this man seemed to be very well preserved despite his missing legs. Even his clothing was still relatively intact. Eventually, it was discovered that the man was Margaret Old's daughter's fiance, who she said had gone missing a whopping 42 years prior. Once the body had dried out after being recovered, the cadaver began to harden by some strange phenomenon. Soon enough, the body started to decay, as it should have many years earlier. The delay in decay was due to the body's preservation in copper sulfate. The water in this section of the mine where the man was found was full of this substance, allowing the body to be preserved after all those years. The decaying body was displayed for another 30 years after its recovery, and he was finally laid to rest in a church cemetery. Now, it's time for the strange topic. While working in Alaska, builders find something unexpected. They found what appeared to be a flying saucer buried deep in the mud. Naturally, theories went down two roads. The first was that this was the evidence of a crashed alien spacecraft. The second was that this was actually a human design, perhaps an experimental aircraft designed by the American military, not yet revealed to the masses. Reporting it to the authorities, the government were quick to swoop in and take the saucer off their hands. What is odd is that in the years since, the government have not only refused to reveal what was in this thing, but they've gone so far as to openly pretend it never happened, even though people were there and saw it. Even though we have this photographic evidence to us, that would suggest the second theory is true. That thing is no alien craft, but rather an American invention that was lost during experimentation and practice. And they're still not admitting it. That's why they wanted it back and are hiding it. Or maybe the first theory is true, that this was a UFO and what they found inside has terrified them. Which theory do you think is right? Or do you have a third theory all on your own, you clever little sausage? As always, let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below using the hashtag strange topic. Number 19, a data archive. I'm sure we all wonder where our data storage goes when we store something in the cloud, right? Well, perhaps the cloud isn't technically a cloud, but we still have no idea where all of that data goes. Surely, when you picture data storage, the image of an abandoned mine is not the first thing that pops into your head. However, it might be from now on. GitHub is an open source software site that has stored over 21 terabytes of data in none other than an abandoned mine, or more pleasantly known as the Archive Vault in Norway. This mine sits in the town of Longyearbyen on Svalbard Archipelago, and the project was first proposed in 2019. The mine is the perfect place, both temperature-wise and preservation-wise, for the storage of various items, such as your data. GitHub stored the archive so far in the mine and inside a chamber behind permafrost. With all of that protection, the people at GitHub claim that everything stored in the archive vault will remain intact for at least a thousand years. Who knows where we'll be then, but this project is for future generations to uncover. So let's hope that they can remember the password. Number 18, the Titanoboa. There was a terrifying find in Colombia. Remnants of a giant snake were found in a coal mine the remnants of which have proved that this snake, dubbed the Titanoboa, would have annihilated the world's largest snake that exists today, the green anaconda. While the two snakes are comparable in length, research has found that the mass of the Titanoboa was astronomical and weighed over 2,000 pounds, or over 900 kilograms. A disturbing comparison was made of the back of a Titanoboa and the height of a fully grown man's waist. Luckily, it can be dated back to 58 million years ago and is now extinct. Research shows that it could have grown to 12.8 to 14.3 meters long and have a mass of 730 to 1,135 kilograms. 
The Titanoboa evolved to be one of the largest reptiles after any dinosaur that had the ability to fly went extinct. Eventually, this beast ended up in northeastern Colombia where students from the University of Florida made the discovery in the coal mine. The most notable discovery made here about this giant snake was that it seemed to have been more equipped to prey on fish rather than any predator that might be closer to its size. Number 17. Federal Retirement Files Perhaps you already have plans for retirement, you know, golf, seeing the grandkids, a cruise to the Bahamas. All of these great things will cost you, so good thing you and the government have set up your retirement fund, right? But did you know that they are storing your future almost 200 meters underground in an old limestone mine? This mine is located in Boyers, Pennsylvania, and is more commonly referred to as Iron Mountain. The government chose to file your paperwork in a mine instead of your HR department's computer. Paperwork is brought to the mine every day, where 600 people are employed for the handling of said paperwork, and roughly 7,000 federal employees retire per month, so you can do the math on the efficiency of this operation. If you're wondering why they don't just digitize all this information, don't worry. Everyone else is wondering the same thing, and no one's gotten around to it. Now, it takes about 71 days for someone's retirement paperwork to be finalized. This is 10 days longer than in 1977. But the backlog seems to be down 7.2% from last month. The mine is really one of the only places large enough to house and store this much paperwork. Number 16, two billion year old water. If you happen to be in a cave, for whatever reason, you will most likely find water due to the vast amount of rivers and even lakes that exist underground. Did you ever think that the water found in a cave may have existed before humans? A mine in Timmins, Ontario was the place of discovery for this prehistoric water. Scientists were able to date this water by determining and analyzing trace elements that existed in the water sample. They found xenon, which already sounds like something from eons ago, and helium in the water. They also found that it has eight times the amount of salt in it when compared to salt water from our oceans. So, drinking it is not suggested, though it may not be too toxic. This water came from a pool deep in the Timmins mine, where it has been laying low for two billion years. It's the oldest discovered pool of water ever. The more we uncover about this two billion year old water, the more we can uncover Earth's mysteries. Since the discovery, scientists have been able to determine that single-celled organisms once existed in the water. Number 15, a bike trail. Presumably, you go on a bike ride for the exercise or the picturesque views, but perhaps you've never heard or considered biking the Black Hole Trail in Slovenia. Was the name too off-putting? Perhaps this will convince you. The Black Hole Trail is a 10 kilometer long bike trail in an abandoned mine. Uh, but I don't think it should be a problem for you. If that wasn't enough, this mine is so deep underground it goes 150 meters into the earth, covering five different levels. The mine that the trail exists in was abandoned over 25 years ago, but was previously used as a lead and zinc mine. Finally, someone decided to do what we were all thinking, and why not turn this dark cave into a bike trail, despite the out of the box location, it's said to be a real attraction for bike enthusiasts and great bike riders as the route consists of typical features found in mines such as aggressive twists and turns and requires an experienced rider to enjoy. For now, the Black Hole Trail is the first and only of its kind, but who knows, maybe more will come along for the ride. Number 14, a stash of 1930s cars. What would be your ideal find in a mine? Silver, gold? Zinc? How about a labyrinth of European cars <laughs> dating as far back as the 1930s? Well, that's exactly what a teacher from Belgium found in a mine. Back in 2016, the mine was located in a French quarry. The teacher was Vincent Michel, a PE teacher, and the discovery was unbelievable. The cars date back to the 1930s and were probably used by the Germans when they wanted and needed and subsequently stored in the mines during World War II in order to not have them requisitioned. However, no one came back to claim any of them. And while the cars are in various states of decay and disrepair, the site was truly wild. Vincent Michel was the first person to lay eyes on this maze of rust, engines, metal, and rubber in 70 years. While Michel couldn't drive any of these cars out and back home as they're far too gone, he might consider exploring more abandoned mines in the future for more wild discoveries. Number 13, a theme park. A Romanian salt mine might just prove to be one of the most versatile mines out there. Originally, the Salina Turda, 
was a salt mine dating back to 1075, or even before. The mine produced salt for a very long time, until a new use for the mine began in 1932. Salina Turda became a bomb shelter during the Second World War, and was closed up once the war had ended. However, the mine was reintroduced in the 90s, and this time it was open to the public. Not as a mine, not as a shelter, but as a spa. A halo therapy spa, to be exact, or salt therapy. And if you thought that was interesting enough, Salina Turda now also contains a subterranean amusement park, equipped with a Ferris wheel, billiards, mini golf, and a lake. Luckily, there is now also an elevator to take you to the subterranean wonders, or if you prefer to take the stairs, that is still also an option. Oh, and can't forget to mention that the mine was also used as a cheese storage center. Number 12, world's largest freshwater dive resort. Have you ever had the inkling to swim deep underground the surface of the earth? Then perhaps you'd be interested in the Bon Terre lead mine in Missouri. After shutting down in 1962, the mine underneath the town of Bon Terre began to fill up with water once stored in the now unused water pumps. No one foresaw that shutting down the water pumps might lead to the drowning of the mine. By the 1970s, the bottom three layers of the mine were completely submerged underwater, but the mine was sold to new owners. The new owners of the mine basically bought a giant underground freshwater lake with 17 miles of shoreline. Whether by accident or not, this mine is now put to new and good use. It's a popular attraction for divers who can navigate the underwater tunnels of the mine. The mine is at a consistent temperature and allows for the visibility of all abandoned equipment once used for the lead mining. This mine is now not even called a mine, but rather the Billion Gallon Lake that has tunnels which go on for over 140 kilometers. Number 11, Cave of the Crystals. Not many things would get people to go underground to depths of 300 meters, but what if there was a giant cave of crystals at the bottom? Would you go? In Chihuahua, Mexico, the Nica mine is exactly the place. The chamber is about 109 meters long and filled with selenite crystals. These crystals are some of the largest ever found in the earth so far. The biggest of the bunch amounts to 11.4 meters and has a volume of roughly five cubic meters. This giant crystal is said to be about 12 tons in mass. The temperature of the cave is another marvel. It can climb up to 58 degrees Celsius in the cave when it's not flooded with water. In addition to the 90 to 99% humidity, the cave is relatively unexplored due to the conditions that mimic Death Valley. The cave was only discovered in 2000 by two brothers, Juan and Pedro Sanchez. But the discovery had a time limit. Since the conditions are so bad, people can only stand it for about 10 minutes in a total at any given time. The brothers discovered the cave by accident. And what a beautiful accident it must have been. However, since 2015, the cave has been impossible to see as it has once again flooded with water in order for the crystals to continue to grow. Number 10, Wolf's Egg Iron. The Wolf's Egg Iron, or the Salzburg Cube, is the meteor that never was. Found in Austria in 1885, buried in tertiary ignite, a cuboid of iron was discovered in a 20 million year old coal seam. Initial reactions from scientists assumed that this object was that of meteoric origin. This would have perhaps been a more exciting reality for the new find. However, after analyzing the object, its past life as a meteor was soon ruled out due to the absence of any nickel, chromium, or cobalt. Still, the wolf's egg iron is considered an artifact that is out of place, and a cast of it can be viewed on display at Oberösterreichsken Landesmuseum in Austria. The real wolf's egg iron is kept at the Heimathaus Museum, also in Austria, the purpose of the cast is to ensure that no more damage is done to the original as wear has begun to show on the true wolf's egg iron due to the sheer amount of people that handled it. It was eventually settled that the wolf's egg iron is most probably just cast iron used as ballast in mining operations. Number 9. Klerstorp Sphere A mine in South Africa near Odosdal is home to a number of Klerkstorp spheres. These disc-shaped or spherical pieces of hematite or wallacenite have been found and collected by miners in and amongst three billion year old pyrophyllite deposits. Though many people speculate that these objects are out of place artifacts and have been man-made, there is little evidence to support those claims. 
After analyzing the Klerksdorp spheres, geologists were able to realize that they exist thanks to natural processes. In addition to the previously mentioned hematite and wollastonite properties of the spheres, there was analysis done by another geologist who said that some Klerksdorp spheres also consisted of pyrite, but the colors of which are unknown. Instead, most of them can be seen in a dark red, almost brown color. When geologist Paul Heinrich cut one of these spheres open, it revealed a radial structure on the inside reaching completion in the center of the sphere. Another few of the Klerksdorf spheres showed latitudinal groves when cracked open. Despite the pseudoscience claims being completely wrong, it is almost more amazing that these spheres are naturally made versus man-made. Number 8. Fossilized Rainforest Found in an Abandoned Coal Mine A coal mine in Illinois, U.S. is the home of a 300 million year old fossilized rainforest. The rainforest was at one point a site for incredible wildlife, including a type of moss so thick and so wild it grew to a meter in thickness and 40 meters in height. There was a multitude of extinct plants that were also found. Evidently, it is likely that the rainforest ended up under the cover of the earth due to a large earthquake or something of that sort that allowed for the rainforest to cave in on itself. A layer of coal preserved the rainforest, and once removed, one could see the forest by looking up at the ceiling of the mine. They found the fossilized rainforest almost 100 meters deep into the mine. Imagine being that far underground, but upon looking up, you are surrounded by an ancient rainforest. The tree trunks are above you, the plants are in the ceiling, but the rest of your surroundings are coal and rock. This newfound rainforest will allow scientists and researchers to get a better understanding of the world biology and wildlife 300 million years ago. Number 7. Salt Cathedral of Zipaquira You may not believe it, but there is a Roman Catholic church 200 meters underground. Not only that, but the church is located in a salt mine. The salt mine is located in a halite mountain close to Zipaquira in Colombia. This church has not only been a popular tourist destination for the city, but a place of pilgrimage for the people of Colombia. If you were to go visit the salt mine cathedral, you would come upon the temple in three sections. Each section represents something different. One represents the birth of Jesus. The next represents the life of Jesus and finally Jesus' death. You may think there is not much to see in this underground church. Wouldn't it just be dark and damp that far below the earth? However, that is far from the truth. You can see icons, hand-carved details, ornamenting and even sculptures made of marble. The cathedral is truly a feat. The architecture is astounding. No wonder, it is also known as a jewel of modern architecture. The church is still functioning and is absolutely packed on Sundays, reached about 3,000 churchgoers for the Sunday Mass. Number 6. The 300-year-old wheel discovered in a coal mine In the city of Donetsk, Ukraine, a discovery was made in a local coal mine. 900 meters below the ground, workers found an impression of an ancient wheel in the sandstone tunnel. The tunnel had recently been excavated and, while the workers were drilling the coal as they normally would, they happened upon this rather curious sight. The impression of the ancient wheel would not have been able to survive and remain intact if the miners were to remove it from the surrounding sandstone. Instead, Deputy Chief V.V. Kruselin decided to take a picture of the imprint to support their find. The pictures were enough evidence and the discovery was reported. However, there was still nothing anyone could do to remove the artifact from the mine. It remains down there to this day, leaving much mystery and questions around its origin and purpose. Even still, the pictures show that there was more than one impression. Was it from the same wheel or multiple? We still may never know until perhaps the imprints are unearthed and analyzed by a team of scientists and archaeologists. Number 5. Newly Unveiled Dinosaur is Best Preserved of Its Kind The Millennium Mine is located 17 miles north of Fort McMurray, Alberta, Canada. Inside this mine, Sean Funk made an incredible discovery of true, remarkable preservation. He found a dinosaur fossil so well preserved, it is in fact the best preserved fossil of its kind so far. Sean had found a 110 million year old nodosaur, which is a type of herbivore whose features and body were armored. His supervisor, Mark Grattan, spent some time with Sean trying to figure out what they had just found before they reported it or had it analyzed. Were the fossils merely bits of fossilized wood? Tree stumps, perhaps? However, once they turned the fossil over, they found sandy brown disks in gunmetal gray stone that could immediately put the tree stump theories to rest. This was no ordinary fossil. 
This was the fossil of an ancient dinosaur. Eventually, it was found that the creature once had long spikes coming out of its shoulders and weighed nearly 1,360 kilograms. The length of the dinosaur at one point was said to be 5.4 meters long. Number 4. Rare Black Opal Found in Mine One of the most sought-after gemstones is black opal. Its rarity and beauty make finding it not only special but very difficult. Mines in Australia are known for their quantity of black opal, especially from a region called Lighting Ridge. The soil and the climate in this area is perfect for the creation of precious black opal. This combination of soil and climate is in fact responsible for the unique black color of the gemstone as it contains iron oxides, manganese oxides, and carbon. You may think, surely if you find the right location, mining for black opal would be an easy process from there. But that wouldn't be further from the truth. Mining for the gemstone is an arduous process and requires a lot of handwork and time. One must venture very deep into the earth, sometimes up to 80 meters in the mine, if you happen to be lucky enough to find the rare gem, you must make sure to place it in water instantly so it doesn't crack. If successful, one carat of black opal is equivalent to $15,000. Number 3. Diamond Mining in Arkansas 12-year-old finds 5.16 carat diamond at Arkansas's Crater of Diamonds. Finding a diamond is rare, but finding a diamond at 12 years old is even more rare. A 12-year-old boy from North Carolina found a 5.16 carat diamond while on vacation with his family. Michael Detlef and his family were vacationing at Arkansas's Crater of Diamonds State Park when a mere 10 minutes into their search of the precious stone, Michael found a jelly bean-sized diamond on his own. The area in which Michael found his own diamond seemed to be a lucky area as a 15.33 carat diamond was found there in 1956. That whopping gem is called the Star of Arkansas. The diamond mine is a popular location as Michael's find was the 328th diamond to be discovered in just that year alone. Michael's discovery is said to be the 27th largest diamond found on that land since 1972 when it became the state park that we can all visit today. The honey brown diamond that Michael found is now called God's Glory Diamond, named by the boy himself. Will this Diamond State Park be your next family vacation destination? Number two, the world's largest amethyst geode. Picture a geode, perhaps you've had the pleasure of acquiring one and cracking it open to reveal the beautiful maze of crystals on the inside. Now imagine if that geode was 3.27 meters tall and a staggering 2.5 tons. That would probably be a little more difficult to crack open, but a geode exactly like that was really found in 2007 it is named the Empress of Uruguay and was the world's largest amethyst geode to have ever been found. The geode was formed 130 million years ago and maintains the exact and intact crystal structure that was formed all those years ago. The geode was quite tricky to remove from the solid basalt that it was found in. The long and difficult extraction process took three whole entire months to complete. After that, another two months were needed to polish and refine the edges and opening of the geode. The impressive find took hard work and determination, but the payoff is a beautiful sight. Beneath rock and stone, incredible crystals are formed in hiding, waiting to be seen by the naked eye. Number one, mystery monster found in Siberian Maine. Mines are the home to some beautiful things such as gemstones and geodes. However, mines can also be the hiding place of scary creatures and dare I say, monsters. For some Siberian miners in a town called Udachny, a monstrous find was a reality. The diamond miners came across what they likened to wolverine or a carnivorous mammal. The creature that they came across was perfectly mummified due to the temperature of the mine it was found in. It is reported that even its nails were intact. The mine is so cold, the temperature ranges anywhere from minus 43.6 degrees Celsius to minus 35.2 degrees Celsius. If temperatures like those exist, even the coldest winters must feel like summer weather above the mine. The beast has been said to have a body that almost mimics that of a ferret with claws on each limb. However, the real takeaway is its impressive jaw filled with loads of fangs and sharp teeth. Thanks to the description and photos, it has been presumed that the mummified animal found belongs to the Mustelidae family, which are categorized as carnivorous animals. What other crazy things could we possibly find in those mines? Can you think of any other exciting minds hiding interesting discoveries? Let us know 
in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.